y'all and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I'm Nicole with the bushel and a peck designs today we are working on another print working with another print from my collab collection with 311 Co I am starting with a 20 ounce straight tumbler from the tumbler supply store I sanded it prepped it and spray painted it gold when that was dry I am going to give it a really thin coat of epoxy I just used the rest of the epoxy that I had in a cup from epoxying some other tumblers and then I am taking these two gold glitters this one is 24 karat gold from AB Designs Co and then I'm just giving it a real light dusting it is a chunky glitter and it's a metallic more bright colored gold I'd say and I just gave it a little dusting and then I did open the bigger spout so that I could get some bigger areas. I don't want to give this a full coverage. I just want it to be a more sporadic coverage. Then I am taking this lighter gold, more of a champagne gold. It is from my dump glitter collection as well. And I'm just going to give that a full coverage. It is also I'd say more of like a mini chunky. It's got some chunks in there, but not quite as big as the bright gold. And I love that it has some little tiny stars in it. So I'm just going to give that a full coverage and then roll it on some scrapbook paper to help lay all those chunkies down. But I, this is the look I was going for. I wanted that contrast with the holographic large chunkies and then the mixture of the lighter more muted gold and then I gave that two coats of epoxy and then I gave it a really good sand and then we are working with this fourth fourth of July a grungy stars pattern from my collection as I mentioned and on my silhouette studio software when I measured it I measured the circumference and it was nine and a half inches after I gave it those coats of epoxy so I designed this in my silhouette studio and what I did is I just cut a square I didn't want or a rectangle I should say I didn't want the vinyl to go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom I wanted to leave a little bit of that gold showing on the top and the bottom rim so I cut this rectangle and I just added stars to the design and then I just put it in my silhouette software silhouette machine and I let the machine just cut it out. I didn't have any specific place where I wanted these stars. I just wanted it random and to be cut out of that design. There is stars on the design, but I really wanted these gold stars to be peeking through just like a reverse peekaboo. Normally we add a shape and then spray paint it and then peel up those peekaboos, but I just did a little different. I mean, I'm not the one that came up with this idea. Of course, I've seen it before, but I just really wanted this vinyl on there with the gold stars peeking through. Once I peeled up all of those stars, I'm going to just apply it like I normally do with the hinge method. So I cut a little bit off of the backing and then I wrapped it around to make sure that I had it lined up straight. And then I just applied it like the hinge method, just very carefully not to catch any of those open spaces. I wanted to make sure it all laid down nice and flat. So I went really slow, just used my fingers to lay it down as the backing pushed off of the vinyl.
there wasn't much overlap at all when I wrapped it, so it didn't need to be trimmed. And because of this grungy, distressy looking pattern, it doesn't really make the seam extremely noticeable. Like you can notice it, but it's not standout noticeable. So then I'm gonna go straight in and give it some vinyl stripes on the top and the bottom. I kind of played with it and I was gonna do one stripe and then have other colors on top of it, but I thought I'd be a little bit different and just add them side by side. So I went with the traditional red, white, and then blue. The white is a glitter vinyl from Hobby Lobby. And then the blue is also one of their metal, not metallic, it's like the, I don't remember, but it's one of their really pretty vinyls that I absolutely love. And it was the darkest one that I had that matched really well. So I just did a few stripes and did them in red, white, and blue on the top and the bottom rim. I think it's their Luster vinyl collection and it's in the blue color. When I created the stars on the vinyl, I also created an offset for each of them as well. I only picked three sizes. I did a really large one, a medium, and a small to try to help. Sometimes I go crazy and have all kinds of different sizes, but I wanted to help me be able to know which outline went on which one, so it was easier to control with just having a few sizes. So I created the offset for all of these and I cut that out of a textured gold vinyl. I wanted it to just bring in that element from the glitter to tie it all in together. So even before I'm adding any epoxy, I am adding all of these outlines. And for the ones that go down on the bottom, I just added them and then trimmed them off where the vinyl ends. And I'm going to add all of those outlines. And then basically this is done. I gave it two final coats of epoxy and this beauty was stunning. I, I know it's so rare for me lately to not add words or a saying or something, but I felt like this one just really stood out for itself. I loved the stars in the gold against the red, white, and blue of the grungy distress look with the little white stars already on that final pattern. So I love the way it came out and that is it. I hope that I have inspired you in one way or another. And as usual, I will leave all of the information where to find me and all the products that I used down in the description box. And if you haven't joined my regular Facebook Bushel and a Peck Crafters community group, please do so. We're having a monthly challenge over there. You can win a prize. So it's a lot of fun. And I will be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Bye y'all.